Hey, what's up, guys? It's Joel Benavides with the Block Squad Podcast. It is the 8th of June at 5.32 a.m. Central Standard Time, 10.32 on the UTC clock. And we're going to get started with the, God, what is it, like the 55th episode? Uh, 56th episode, I think. Uh, no, 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 I'm, I'm sorry. Where am I? The 57th episode, yeah, of, um, of Block Squad. Um, and uh, and uh, please remember that nothing that you hear on the stream, YouTube, uh, podcast uh, is uh, financial advice, trading advice, tax advice, etc. Uh, with that said, let's get started. Um, so uh, we're going to take a look at the uh, heat map in the market real quick. Um, and as we can see, we're still kind of uh, ranging in this range-based market right now uh, with plus or minus ones and two percents across the board. Uh, so uh, checkered and low volatility market right now. Uh, tethers at a dollar even. Bitcoin is up uh, just over a quarter of a percentage point at 8K. Uh, we are trading above the 8K level right now. Um, so we're going to take a look at uh, some charts and news uh, and uh, market cap um rankings and uh, that's about it guys uh and then we're gonna get out of here uh shouldn't be uh shouldn't take too long today excuse me uh so uh with that said let's do a quick run through the uh market cap uh rankings and we'll take a look at um respective charts as we do so so uh let's let's look at uh total crypto market capitalization real quick uh, I think it's somewhere around, yeah, it's uh, sitting at uh, 244.4 billion right now. So uh, nearly a quarter of a, of a trillion. And uh, that, that market cap kind of creeped up on us. Uh, it really did. Uh, but this is uh, the hourly. Uh, and so you can see that's reflected in the, uh, that sideways market is reflected even here in the, uh, in the in the chart of the total market cap um, so yeah and we're gonna take a closer look at all the minutia involved in that uh, first I always like to start out with gas just because gas is a derivative of NEO and NEO is usually in the top 20 uh, so uh, we had a bullish candle uh, yesterday uh, more bullish than we've had in a while uh, and so maybe that is an indicator of some some growth um, but uh, I'm gonna lay off of uh, gas for now. Um, and uh, let's just jump back into uh, the top 20. So in 20th, NAM is coming in trading at 8.6 cents. That's up 3.58% on the day. Tezos XTZ in at 19, trading at 1 and 29, down 3.57% on the day. NEO, uh, which you can see here on the chart, on the daily, let's jump into the hourly since we've been doing daily charts for a while now. Neo is in at uh, set 18th by market cap trading at 12 and 39. That's up 6.77% of the day. Uh, Ethereum Classic against Tether on the Binance, as we see here, is at 8 and 54, up 4.13% on the day, uh, according to uh, the aggregate or average on coin market cap. Uh, Ethereum Classic is uh, trading at 8 and 57, so uh, up from that figure a couple of cents. And uh, it, it's uh, up 8.52% uh, on the day. Uh, Cosmos, uh, Adam is in the 16th place by market cap, trading at 6 and 26, up 4.92% on the day according to coin market cap. Uh, IOTA in at 15th by market cap, trading at 43.7 cents, up 3.38% of the day. Dash, as we can see here, according to uh, Binance, is trading at 148 and 17. That's down 0.86% on the day. And uh, Coin Market Cap reports Dash trading at 148 and 97, so up a few cents from that figure, uh, up 3.94% uh, on the day. Monero XMR against Tether on the Binance, according to Binance, is trading at 87 and 75. That's down over a quarter of a point, a percentage point, sorry, um, on on the Binance. And uh, Coin Market Cap reports Monero trading at 87 and 68, so down a, about a dollar from that. Uh, and uh, that figure on Coin Market Cap is up 1.86 percent on the day. Cardano ADA against Tether on the Binance, trading at 8.4 cents. Uh, according to Coin Market Cap, Cardano is trading at 
8.5 cents, so just up slightly from that figure. Uh, trading, or I'm sorry, up 2.44% on the day. And Tron against Tether on the Binance is trading at 3.2 cents. And uh, C uh, uh, CMC reports Tron is trading at 3.3 cents, and that is up 1.32% on the day. Moving to the top 10 now, guys. Stellar XLM against Tether on the Binance is uh, trading at 12.6 and uh, CMC report Stellar trading at 12.7 cents up 1.85% on the day. Uh, Tether uh, uh, trading right now at 1 and 1 up 0.18%. Uh, Bitcoin SV, BSV against Tether, or I'm sorry, against the dollar on the Bitfinex uh, is uh, trading at 197.3. CMC reports BSV at 198 and 36, up to and a quarter of a percentage point for the day. Binance Coin against, of course, Tether on the Binance is trading at 32 and 16. And according to CMC, Binance is trading at 31 and 62, up 0.22% of the day. Uh, EOS against Tether on the Binance is trading at 6 and 51. Uh, according to Binance on CMC, however, 6 and 55 is the traded price up 2.82% on the day. Bitcoin Cash, BCH, trading at uh let's see uh according to cmc bitcoin cash is trading at 397 and 94. that's up 1.09 percent on the day litecoin against uh tether on the binance is trading at 116 and 56 right now and uh, cmc reports litecoin at 117 and 3 that's up 5.71 percent of the day ripple xrp according to cmc is trading at 41.9 cents flat for the day uh, and uh, here we can see it's traded against tether on the Binance at uh, 41.7 cents uh, let's take a look at uh, ethereum that will do Bitcoin and uh, get to the news ethereum ETH uh, trading at 248 and 40 on uh, on the Binance and uh, according to CMC ethereum is traded at 249 and 47 up 0.72 percent on the day now uh, Bitcoin of course against the US dollar on Coinbase is trading around 8,000, fluctuating right now. Uh, and uh, CMC reports Bitcoin at 7,995 and 26, up 2.31% for the day. Market cap right now on Bitcoin, guys, is 140, uh, $141.8 billion. Uh, and uh, circulating supply, uh, still it's uh, above 17 million, uh, right around 17.7 billion. Uh, I'm sorry, million, 17.7 .7 million uh, Bitcoins in circulation, guys. Um, so that's going to do it for the uh, market cap squawk. Um, I did want to run through some news. Let's look at the, the just the top three uh, right here on TradingView, and then we'll get into some trending stories. Um, headlines for BTC against the dollar. US, uh, Coinbase sees Bitcoin trading volume hit a 14-month high after a 70% rise. Uh, so, and we were looking at some of this volume. There's a lot of sell volume, in fact, uh, over the last couple of days, as we can see here on the chart. Uh, these uh, purple uh, volume candles down here at the bottom represent sell volume. So, um, but when we look at total, let's uh, let's run over there and pull up total real quick. Now uh, we can see on the daily, total on the daily kind of shows us this uh, huge jump in in. In overall volume over over the last few days so um, so yeah that uh, that's true but I, I mean over as far compared to the last few days actually volume has been dropping uh, as we can see here so uh, so yeah uh, let's see uh, and that was a uh, sorry that news was uh, from crypto globe about 21 minutes ago uh, 41 minutes ago from the bitcoinist.com which I which I like to follow um, what's a Bitcoin Brazil president proposes a euro for South America uh, that's interesting yeah uh, you know and and I, I've followed news in South America for a while guys and there's uh, there's always been I've always had kind of like an interest I lived there for six months back around 2002 and uh, and uh, it was just a very uh, politically volatile time in South America's history with Hugo Chavez and, and that's where I was in Venezuela so it was just a fascinating time to be in Venezuela and to see history unfolding. And um, but there was talk. I remember that about about a euro for South America. 
And in fact, most of the countries down there do want to form uh, some kind of a uh, economic alliance. Um, uh, but they've stated in the past, the presidents of those countries have stated in the past that there's uh, a lot of hurdles and uh, political pressure from other parts of the world, either not to do it or just hurdles for that, that makes it difficult for them to do that. Um, but I'm all for financial freedom if uh, the elected presidents of, of those countries decide that they want to form an economic alliance. I don't see why uh, we can't... Uh, we can at least encourage them to do so, you know, and uh, and be available to them as allies, uh, because I still do regard uh, most of the countries in South America as allies. I think uh, if uh, if uh, a country uh, with uh, with uh, an elected president is is wanting to self determine, uh, there isn't anything that we uh, should be doing that should hinder that. In fact, we should be helping them uh, self determine. Uh, and you know, that's the basis of what friendships are, are built on. Right. So anyway, I'm going to get off my pulpit. Uh, let's see. I have, I still have friends there obviously. So, um, and, uh, let's see it, about an hour ago from UDOT today, crypto baron, John McAfee responds to Craig Wright's accusation of being con man, Vitalik Buterian also steps in. Uh, that's interesting. I, I'd like to see what, uh, uh, Vitalik has to say. Uh, about John McAfee. Um, I know that uh, recently John McAfee had offered his um, expertise uh, as a uh, as a cybersecurity expert to uh, CZ Binance. Uh, to uh, I can't pronounce his name very well. Um, the, the CEO of Binance uh, to. Um, to help them with uh, with certain technical issues that they were having some weeks and months ago. I think we covered that on the stream, in fact. So there's just a few of the recent stories going on in TradingView right now. Uh, in terms of trending stories, let's see, 13 hours ago, Brendan Bloomer on CNBC Crypto Trader. Uh, that should be good to check out a little bit later. Uh, note to self, check that out a little bit later. 15 hours ago from CryptoSlate.com, US 2020 presidential candidate Andrew Yang meets with uh, Litecoin founder. I can't think of his name right now. I have it on the tip of my tongue, but no, that'd be good to check out too. 16 hours ago from CryptoBriefing.com, from Steemit to Voice, can EOS Dan Larimer unseat Mark Zuckerberg? Um, Okay, uh, I, I really don't follow Facebook too too closely. I should, uh, but I don't. Uh, 19 hours ago uh, from Coindesk and three more sources, Ethereum Classic to test code for Atlantis upgrade this month. I'm not sure uh, what Atlantis is. If you guys are following along, uh, comment or send me a tweet at Joel Benavides uh, because uh, I'm gonna need to... Uh, I need to research all this stuff. I, I, I'm That's kind of my weakness. I, and I've mentioned that on the stream before is going and researching these stories and coming back and at least following up with you guys. So um, I'll try to do that today. I'll catch up on some of those stories and, uh, and we'll, t we'll try to talk about it uh, in the coming, uh, coming days. Um, about a, uh, 24 hours ago, Ripple's XRP to be adopted by largest Asian bank. And yeah, I was looking at that earlier. We have, I actually have a story up uh, in my uh, in my queue that we're gonna look at. Um, so yeah, I haven't had a chance to to, to look at my crypto heavy traders on Twitter. Um, I'll I'll get around to that eventually. Um, but it doesn't. I mean, just looking at a cursor, cur, uh, like giving it a cursory look right now. I really don't see anything too crazy uh, going on right now. Um, nothing. Uh, Nothing absolutely insane. Like I said, we're in a sideways market, guys. So, um, so uh, you know, anything could fly. Um, so uh, I guess let's focus on on the chart here, and then we'll we'll get out of here for the day. We'll go over that that extra story if I if I can remember it, um, and then we'll we'll get out of here. So looking at uh, Bitcoin, of course, uh, against the U.S. dollar on Coinbase, um, we can see that we're in a downward trend here. I formed this trend channel. Uh, shush, back on the like third um, because we had this big Judas candle remember that was that big Judas candle I was expecting this to break out to the upside and totally didn't 
Um, and uh, and then we shot back down. Uh, that that Judas candle occurred around 1600 hours on the 30th of May. And uh, and you know we were kind of consolidating around the 8744 level, and then we shot up as high as like 9082 on Coinbase, and then like a couple of hours later, basically came all the way back down to 7953 which totally wasn't what I was expecting. I know a lot of the community wasn't expecting it. And there were like Crypto Toro MX came out with like a like a meme about the Judas candle returns or maybe that was BTC Vix came out uh, on Twitter with a uh, with a with a, a mention about the Judas candle and stuff like that. So uh, but I took that as an interpretation of at least over the next day or two uh, a uh, n- the start of a new downward trend channel. Um, and so I made that assumption and I based the bottom off of a couple of candles that had formed around 21 May uh, on the 4th of June. And uh, we bottomed out there at 74.29. Uh, and so we, we kind of came up slightly, but we've been basically consolidating for the last couple of days since the 5th. And here we are on the 8th and, uh, and we still haven't really bounced out of it. However, I wanted to mention this because I was looking at this when I woke up this morning. Whenever I see a bunch of highs, right, kind of all lining up in neat little rows, uh, it's perfectly like acceptable in my opinion, regardless of whether you have a trade on or not, to change this resistance, right? Um, and so that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to highlight this and we're going to try and adjust this trend channel, uh, in order to accommodate all these highs that are forming. Cause it seems like it really does seem like, like, uh, the chart is trying to tell us something. Uh, so I am going to adjust this like, so. And it seems like we have what it's telling us is that there's a steeper um, trend channel going on here. And in fact, it kind of makes sense because that would put the top of this, the very tip top of this trend channel is if you're watching right around some major resistance up around 92.43 or yeah, 92.43 and 82. Um, so uh, I'm actually drawing this on the one hour. I shouldn't, I should zoom back out and do it on the, on the, on the daily. Uh, but that's just going to give us a little bit more uh, perspective, I guess. Um, and then I will move the lower end of this trend channel down to accommodate that candle right there. And so, well, we've adjusted this trend channel. Now we're just going to take a look at it over the next few days and, uh, see if it, uh, confirms, even if it doesn't stay within the trend channel, we have like a sudden breakout after resistance or sudden breakout to the downside after support, uh, that in its own sense is kind of like a, like a confirmation, uh, because, you know, obviously, you know, um, heavy trading takes place after that point. Um, so we'll just keep an eye on this, uh, adjusted trend channel, uh, right now over the next, uh, 12 hours or so. Uh, I think, uh, if we stay within this trend channel, we won't, uh, we won't go higher. We'll, we'll eventually start making our way down today. Um, despite, uh, despite some slightly, slightly, I stress slightly over, uh, sold, uh, stochastics. And, uh, actually MACD isn't even talking to stoch- stochastics. They're kind of like in contravention of one another, uh, volume is low. Uh, so, but you know, volume also cycles. So we'll have to take a look at that. Um, that's all I got for you, uh, guys today. Um, I think, I think we're going down. Uh, if, uh, if nothing else happens, I think we'll be making a gradual shift down. However, if you take a, a look at this upward, uh, resistance that we have and we draw some support right here, something may be going down on or before the 9th of June. Uh, at 8 a.m., which is really sometime around uh, midnight, two o'clock in the morning tonight. So, and we've we've seen uh, volatility take place between uh, if you're in the Central Standard Time Zone, uh, 11 at night. Um, I, I, it's uh, 
I, central standard is like minus five of, uh, of, of UTC, so you can do your math there, but really only about 12 hours down the road uh, from, from, from 1052 UTC, 11, 11 o'clock UTC. Um, so basically the turn of the day, we'll, we'll turn of the UTC day. We'll, we'll see some, some volatility, I think, uh, if not to the upside, certainly to the downside, because we really don't have any kind of, uh, serious support below us, uh, apart from, uh, the, the fib level that we've been playing with over the last few days at 76, 75. Um, so, and, and that fib level along with the support below it at 7360 is proving to be, um, relatively strong so uh, we haven't crossed through that in a while so that's it I'm gonna get out of here um, I did want to bring this story up briefly oh yeah of course it would um, yeah I'm just having some technical issues with my with my uh, new story that came up guys but I mean we basically mentioned it in the air it was the thing about the bank you know that there's government adoption taking place in China. So um, you can follow up on that on your own if you want. Uh, I, I did want to pull up uh, my trading view. Uh, I published on trading view a few days ago. And just to kind of show you that uh, we're still within this original trend channel. So we still have the original trend channel up, um, but we have a new trend channel on my chart. So we'll, we'll take a look at that over the over the next few days. Uh, I don't have anything else for you uh, guys. Uh, keep in mind uh, that again that nothing you heard on the on the stream today was was financial advice, and uh, I'm gonna let my other me, my other self, uh, send you guys off with uh, some parting words. So uh, cheers. Thanks for listening to another episode of Block Squawk. Remember that nothing on Block Squawk is to be interpreted as financial advice, investment advice, trading advice, or tax advice. And seek out a financial advisor before risking capital. Block Squawk is listener supported, so if you go to anchor.fm forward slash Block Squawk and tap the support this podcast button, you'd be helping immensely in the maintenance, support, improvement, and longevity of the podcast and stream. If you don't want to contribute financially, you can always like, subscribe, tap the post notification bell, as well as comment and repost, and this also helps greatly. Again, thanks for hanging out with us a bit. I hope you reach out over Twitter. I'm at Joel Benavides. Apart from that, you can usually find me on Spotify, Anchor, Apple, and Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Radio Public, Facebook pages, Instagram, LinkedIn, TradingView, StockTwits, and more by searching Blog Squawk or Joel Benavides. Good luck out there. I'll see you guys on the moon. Cheers. All right, guys. Have a good night. Bye. Or good day. Sorry. Bye.